here's the last type that you can deal with and again this is dealing with your mute non not mutual exclusive problems so in other words they're happening at the same time so this time you actually want to get the and in the problem though last time last two times were or this time it's an and and so that's the important part and so example four hopefully you've already watched the video about the rush the roulette wheel because that's going to be important here so I want you to write this down and then we're going to go ahead and work on it let me go ahead and move this up a little bit so you can see it all right so you're going to do that and then we're going to work on it the roulette wheel that has the US roulette wheel has 30 38 numbered slots so 1 through 36 and then 0 and double zero of the 38 compartments 18 are black 18 are red and two are green a play has um, the dealer spin the wheel and a small ball in opposite directions so you spin the wheel in one direction and throw the ball in the opposite direction as the ball slows to a stop it can land with equal probability on any one of the 38 number slots find the probability of red occurring on two consecutive plays two consecutive plays all right so with that being said let me see if i can pull this over a little bit uh, there we go. With that being said here, let me get this off to the side. What we're trying to find again is the probability of a red and a red. So two reds or two consecutive reds there. So red and red. Okay, so if we're looking for and because we're looking at the actual formula here we do probability of red times the probability of red red times red okay so again here how many numbers are there in all there are 38 numbers in all all right so how many red numbers are there there's 18 of them. So there's 38 in all, 18 of them that we have. So 18 over 38. So red over all of them. And then here again, that's 18 over 38. Because once you do that, you're not changing anything different because there's still 18 once you roll it again or spin it again there's still 18 red spots okay so all we're going to do is multiply 18 times 18 or if you want to do um simplify the fractions down like here you can simplify them down you can get that or you can multiply straight across and when you do that if you especially if you do it in the calculator you'll get a fraction of 81 oh there you go 81 oh over 38 oh sorry over 361 oh my all right so 81 over 361 change that to the decimal but in other words put in the calculator and get the decimal that'd be about 0.224 remove that decimal over two places bam bam so we should get about 22.4 percent and that's our chance that's it that's your probability and we are done